Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you a video of the Slayer tasks that you can efficiently and effectively use the Polypore staff on. Two important things I want to note before I go into the video would be one, the Armadale of Stormspell and staff is much higher DPS on Slayer than this staff. However, it does cost about 20 times more to use, so if you don't have billions and billions of GP in your bank, I would highly recommend using the Polypore staff over the Armadale of Stormspell. And the second thing is, I'm only showing tasks that the Polypore staff is effective enough on to match the DPS of a Rapier slash Whip. So again, I'm not going to be showing tasks that the staff sucks on because that really has no purpose. So any task that's not shown in this video, you can assume is not incredibly effective on. Now the first task I'll be showing is Black Demons. And the thing about the Black Demons task is, is that I safe spot them so my cannon can hit them all even though it's a non-multi. And so with that being said, it's much quicker to use the Polypore Staff than it is to range them or use any other spell besides obviously the Armadale Storm spell. Um, another thing I should mention is that if you're just going to be flat out killing them without a cannon, then you would be better off using a Rapier. But since I safe spot them with a the cannon, uh, definitely use this spell if you can't afford the Armadale Storm spell. Again, every task that I will be showing the Armadale Storm spell would be higher DPS on, so I'm not going to mention that it's better to use the Armadale Storm spell because that should be a given. So yeah, definitely definitely worth using this staff. It might be even cheaper than ranging nowadays. I know the staff is like 300k in the GE, which is just ridiculous, so yeah. Up next we have Mithril Dragons. This is a really effective spell to use on Mithril Dragons due to the how cheap it is. And if you look really closely, you'll see that I just got an effigy. Oh yeah, Simon's jealous. Okay, anyways, um, if you can't afford Aram's or Virtus, then I would definitely use uh, Melee on these or most of every task shown in this video. But Aram's is only like 3 mil, so it shouldn't really be a problem. Up next we have Steel Dragons. Uh, this is a really good task. This is probably one of the best tasks to use the Polypore Staff on compared to the Whip or Rapier. And uh, this is in Curadels. I think the max hit with this spell in Curadels is like a 612, I think. Up next we have Aberrant Spectres. Uh, the thing about this task is it would be quicker to use a Whip or a Rapier just if you're going to regularly kill them. However, I cannon them, and what I do is I stand under the cannon and just leave my auto retaliate on, and I just fill up my cannon by left clicking once, and I can basically AFK the whole task. And so if I, you're going to be doing that, um, I would either use a Zardy Bow or this spell, and this spell is higher DPS than a Zardy Bow on this specific monster, so you would definitely want to use this spell on this task. Another task that you would want to use this uh, staff on would be Ganodermic Beasts. If you don't know, these are require level 95 Slayer to kill, and they drop the Polypore Sticks, which are basically the staffs that I'm showing in the video. And also, they drop good effigies and everything, so definitely a task worth doing. And because of how cheap the spell is, definitely a task worth using the Polypore Staff on. Up next, we have Black Dragons. I was really surprised on how well this spell worked on Black Dragons, because it's kind of like they're wielding Black Dehyde. They have pretty decent mage defense, but the Polypore Staff seem to ignore that and it hit pretty well on them. And the last task that I'm going to be showing you is Iron Dragons. Now I was actually off task when I recorded this because it took me, well I, try, I kept trying to get an Iron Dragon task and it was after 600k Slayer XP I realized that I'm just never ever ever going to get another Iron Dragon task again. So I had to go off task and get the clip. Um, that's why I'm not using a Slayer Helmet or a Ferocious Ring so I want you to basically note that that's why it's not looking as effective as it was on Steel Dragons, but again, it's probably quicker than a whip, your, uh, whip or Rapier, and it's definitely quicker than ranging them. And one last thing I want to mention before I end the video, and that's the Jad Tasks. You would definitely want to use this spell over ranging a Jad Task, but if you're going to be meleeing the Jad Task, it would definitely be quicker to be rapiering the Jad Task in like Bandos or something, which is why I didn't show it in the video. I hope I helped some people out, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and see you tomorrow for another video.